Hello, my name is Dan Armstrong. I'm an Adobe Education Leader at Lake City High School in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And today I'm going to show you how to make a quick online slideshow, uh, website even, uh, in Adobe Bridge. And the goal of this is to take those of us who are not web proficient folks and give us a way to put some of our content online. So what you're looking at here on the screen is a series of images that we created for a local baseball team and they were uh, wanting to look at different color schemes so they wanted to put this together in a way that other people could view it and kind of rate it and give some feedback so I'm going to show you here in the next two or three minutes how we solved uh, that problem so I've got my folder opened here in Bridge which is my Knights folder. You can download those assets um, from where I've posted the video. And then all I'm going to do here is select all of those PNG files in there. If you notice up here at the top, uh, I've got Knights, and then there's a folder called PNG where you'll find um, all these images. Okay. So then what we're going to do is up here at the top of Bridge, they have this thing called the Output. And if we click on that, then it will give me some options to choose uh, from some different things. So I can come in here and choose a web gallery and then this gives me options now for my web gallery. I could give it a name and go through some of these things. So we'll call it the Blackfoot Knights to match with the name of our team. And we could choose the type of template that we would like to use there's some different ones so if we use like this Lightroom flash gallery is pretty popular and if we click on preview in browser it will actually build us a preview of what this flash gallery would look like open it up in our web browser and so here it is and we can see the bridge has already done a lot of work for me and as I click through these different images uh, that will go through also down here I can click through images I can include some contact information. So let's jump back over to Bridge and check it out and see what else we can do to this. Um, so down here, we could say, well, what is this collection going to be called? So we will delete this and we will call this uh, Knights Logos. And then the description of the gallery, we're going to kind of give some instruction to the people. So we're going to say, please choose your favorite and respond via email at the top uh, so that'll be the right side of the page okay and so then contact information we might plug our name in here so we'll call him John Smith that'd be great and if there's John Smith out there I've offended I apologize um, and then we would put in whatever email address there is we can add uh, some copyright information in there. Um, also, we can kind of choose the colors uh, that go into our you know, web gallery. I could come in here and choose a couple different colors. If I wanted to maybe change this header to a different color or something, we could come in and do all of that. I'm going to leave the defaults uh, for now. You have control over the shadow size, um, the image size, all kinds of things that you can control. And then finally down here we have the final name um, for our gallery when we actually send this out. So I'm just going to call this gallery uh, the Knights. And I'm going to choose a save location because I want to go somewhere special with this. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put this in my Dropbox. Um, I'm going to put it on the desktop first and then I'll show you how we'll put this in Dropbox. It'll be great. Um, and I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it Knights. And then I'm just going to go right there and uh, hit open. So now it'll save it to that desktop.knights. If you have an FTP server, you know, you can go right here and do your server information and go ahead and put a username and password in. Okay? So right now, um, I could go back and preview it if I wanted to. For the sake of time, I'm just going to save this. And so it's going to save this gallery out. And uh, once it does that, then I'm done uh, with Adobe Bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. And if I go back out, now I see on my desktop I have this Knights folder. 
And if I open that up, we can see that inside of this, it's created our own folder for us. And uh, inside of that, we have our index and resources. So now what I'm going to do to make this kind of live for folks, and this is a really great way, anytime you can build out a website uh, from like Acrobat for a PDF portfolio, it's a very easy way to host your content without having any real worries about it. Uh, so I'm just going to go to my public folder in my Dropbox. You see I have some other things in here. I'm just going to grab that Knights folder with my index and my resources. I'm going to hold Option or Alt on your PC and drag that. And I'm just going to drop it uh, right here into my public folder. So give me just one moment here. We'll get a hold of that image. There we go. And I'm going to drag and drop it right here into my Dropbox folder in my public area. That means anyone can view this folder. Well, if you go to the index.html file and you right click it, you can go to Dropbox right here and you can choose to copy the public link. So if I copy that public link and I jump back out to Safari now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste my public link and hit enter, then now we can see this is being hosted from our Dropbox account and then this is the public link to this information. So now I have hosted my own web gallery. I have my information up here. They could select my name, send me an email, and all my images are live in this beautiful light box. Um, it's a really great way if at the end of the semester you need a way for your students to put together a really nice portfolio. Uh, this is a great way to do that. Very simple, very easy. You can do this with your introductory level students um, and then they can progress as they go farther. If you've done work with PDF portfolios in Acrobat, you can do the same thing just by choosing file and then you can publish it as HTML and then you can just drop that in your Dropbox. So very easy, simple, free way to host your content and to create some nice uh, images and stuff to go out on the web. Again, my name is Dan Armstrong. I'm an Adobe Education Leader in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho at Lake City High School. Feel free to get a hold of me at any time. Thanks for watching.